So just today, Parrot, the French drone manufacturer, has announced that they're going to be producing a thermal imaging version of their lovely little Anafi drone. Let's take a closer look. I'm Ash from Droning On, and yes, Parrot, the French drone manufacturer, has finally now released a thermal imaging version of its lovely, portable, lightweight little Anafi drone. Now, I must say, I do have quite a bit of affection for this little thing, and I do actually have a video coming up shot whilst I was on site in Norway using the Anafi and its innovative little upwards tilting gimbal, which can rotate a full 90 degrees upwards, which is quite unusual and at this time no other drone is capable of doing that. So imagine the possibilities of doing the same with a thermal imaging camera. I'm sure there is a use case somewhere, but that's perhaps why Parrot have done it. Their new thermal imaging version of the Anafi comes in at £1,700, or probably $1,700, which is far under the price tag of the Mavic Enterprise Dual, which comes in at around $2,600. Quite a difference there, especially when you also consider that the Anafi package comes with three batteries, a flight time of about 26 minutes per battery, which is slightly less than the Mavic Dual Enterprise at 31 minutes. However, you are getting three of them in the package, and with the Mavic Enterprise Prize batteries costing over a hundred dollars each. That's quite a saving. Both of these drones, the Mavic Enterprise Dual and the Anafi Thermal, provide the same image resolution of 160 by 120 pixels. Now that sounds tiny, but remember that this is thermal information only. You don't quite need the resolution that you would need for cinematic footage when you're just looking for a heat source. Now another consideration, of course, is the Mavic Enterprise Dual Thermal does come with three additional accessories, including the beacon, the speaker, and also the spotlight. But I'm fairly sure that Parrot will probably do something very similar in the near future. These thermal imaging drones are designed especially for first responders, fire, police, etc. And therefore, they're already carrying a lot of kit and equipment. The Mavic Enterprise Dual comes in just under one kilogram, whereas the Parrot Anafi Thermal comes in just over 315 grams. So lightweight, and that's a massive advantage to somebody who already has a bag full of kit. One other minor note, and one thing I do love about the Anafi as well, is that the batteries are charged via USB. No heavy transformer charging bricks required there. That also could be quite a benefit when you're out and about on the move as a first responder. Now, there are obviously ways to charge up Mavic batteries on the move as well, but just being able to plug it into a generic USB-C source is very, very handy. One big thing to consider as well, however, is that the Anafi isn't as sensor equipped as its competitor, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. That's because the Anafi doesn't have any obstacle avoidance at all. Whereas the Mavic 2 Dual Enterprise has forward, rear, upwards, downwards, and side facing obstacle avoidance. And if you are flying in a building, for example, capturing thermal imagery in the dark, you may well need those sensors if you're not quite the competent drone flyer that you think you are. So that's the Parrot Anafi Thermal. I hope to get my hands on one at some stage to do some test videos for you. It does arrive next month in May. The price will be about $1,700 or £1,700. In the meantime, do comment on this video with your thoughts. What would you do if you had a thermal imaging drone? And I don't want any naughty replies. Give the video a thumbs up and smash subscribe. Finally, Let's share this video and also join our discussion group. Links are all in the video description and thank you very much for watching.